What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Arizlandi Lara versus Thomas Lamana, which is a 12 rounder for the vacant WBA Middleweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, May 1st, from the Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. And this fight was broadcasted on Fox. And in this fight, Arizlandi Lara destroys Thomas Lamana as he knocks him out with one left hand in the first round, putting him out cold. This fight was built for Lara from the start. I predicted a knockout win for Arizlandi Lara. I thought it would come a little bit later. I predicted from rounds four to round eight, a KO win for um, Ares Lady Laura. But it happened this early and this quick. I believe like a minute and a half in, Laura timed him with one beautiful left hand. It almost didn't even look like it landed flush on the chin. It landed sort of on the jawline shoulder area, as you could see. But, um, yeah, Lamana got sent back, slowly went down, and was out on his feet when he was going down. And he was out on the canvas. What a victory this is for Arizlandi Lara. It's not really a sense of what a victory this is based off the opponent he beat, but just based off of how he did it. Because no one else has ever done this to Thomas Lamana. I know Lamana isn't really the biggest of wins for a fighter, being that he is ranked number 112, while Lara was top class at a super welterweight. But still, Arizlandi Lara now has a belt at 160. Do I think he's going to face the interim champion, Chris Eubank, or the super champion, in Hyota Murata, no, I don't think those fights could happen. Maybe Murata, if they get him over to the United States, because I believe he's maybe still working with Top Rank. I'm not really too sure about that, but still, um, Arizlandi Lara definitely needs to be tested at 160, because this wasn't really a test at all. Because Lamana was also a fighter who was um, sort of switching back in 154 and 160. I would love to see him get a real test um, at this weight class, because this really wasn't much of a test at all. But um, Arizlandi Lara gets his uh, 28th victory, 16th by knockout in the first round here. And what's next for him? As I was saying before, is he going to fight the interim champ or the super champ? I don't really know. I was thinking it could have been a Eubank fight. But now that Chris Eubank is um, fighting with Matram because he just fought today, actually, against Marcus Morrison. I don't really know if he's still working with PBC. Comment down below if you know anything about that. But if he's still working with PBC, I could definitely see them making Arizlandi Lara versus Chris Eubank Jr. for the interim WBA middleweight world title as well as the WBA regular middleweight world title, being that it would be the interim champ versus the regular champ. That'd be a very, very good fight. But um, I don't really think Murata will be able to get uh, into the United States and especially fight Lara considering that um, he has really no ties to PBC at all. Murata does. But um, nonetheless, a great win for Arizlandi Lara. But what's next for his opponent, Thomas Lamana? Uh, he got destroyed here in one round. Uh, the only other times he's been knocked out were either late or mid uh, when he took on uh, Jorge Cody. He gets stopped in the fifth. But here he gets destroyed and dismantled in one round. I don't really know what's next for him. I think he's just going to go back to Mexico and take on a few unknown opponents before getting back into the ring, possibly on like an FS1 um, undercard or preliminary bouts, non-televised, something like that. But then just when he lost to Brian Mendoza, he took on a few opponents in Mexico, so I think that's going to happen once more. So overall, Arizlandi Lara destroys Thomas Lamana with one single left hand in the first round, putting him out cold, and he becomes a two-way world champion, winning the WBA regular middleweight world title. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.